What's up, guys? Kirk Gibson here. Today, I'm going to talk to you about Brown and how they took the College D1 National Championships this year. Uh, I've been waiting to do this for a little while now, but um, it, it was really just awesome to watch them throughout the tournament. Um, they lost to North Carolina in pool play, uh, the number one team, but worked their way back to the championship game. And What's really interesting about them, what I want to talk to you about today, is that it was really two guys that just dominated and carried the entire team to victory. And I think um, we've seen this before. I mean, I remember back to when I was playing, um, you know, the teams, including ourselves at the University of Florida, um, we just played a small ball game, took our chances, throwing deep shots, um, but really kept it in primarily a few of the more experienced, better players, high percentage throws. Um, and that's really a, a huge component of success um, that just a few players can take a college team really far. So we're going to talk about Brown today because they won and it was really awesome to see. Um, Jacques Nissen and Leo Gordon, those are the two guys. So we're going to start off by looking at the semifinal game. Brown versus Colorado. Uh, it is 4-4 right now. They've got the disc at half field. And we're just going to watch Leo right here. And then Jox is right over here on the right side of your screen. So I'm going to play it. And then you're going to see Leo comes just right through the stack. Everybody's pretty much stagnant. you got some guys clearing out. Jox is just kind of setting up a cut. But Leo just recognizes, hey, and you're going to see this over and over. If you watch their games... They're always going to be swirling around the disc. So Leo's going to realize, oh, Jacques doesn't have it. I'm going to go get it. So he just makes a cut, comes right over there, picks it up. And now this guy clears. And then you've got Jacques right here. So Leo throws a nice space shot, great throw. And you're just going to see, okay, somebody else tries to come in, gets it back to Leo, doesn't get it to Jacques. He's looking up for a little bit. Looks like the stall count just reset. Okay, somebody else gets it right here. So this is a really... I want you to watch this here. So Leo just runs straight out. He's running completely north-south right through the center of the field. The mark is not really on yet, but just watch what Leo does here. This is such a great cut, and it's so hard to guard. And you're just seeing more and more teams doing this, especially some of the top experienced players. And when you're speedy and athletic like leo is it, it it's really impossible to guard so just watch him he just does a little juke doesn't get it the guy turns his head and he gets around and then leo throws a nice space shot so uh, we're just going to look at that again real quick so leo watch he starts like right next to him they're basically right next to him the mark's not anywhere close but watch leo when he goes out this guy turns his head as he turns his head and then it's gone so just watch colorado defend turns his head and misses it not really sure what that mark was doing. Again, since Leo was over here, so he probably moved. And now he's just wide open for a space shot, gets yards, and he's got a wide open for the break. So super heads up play and just so hard to guard. All right, so now we're at 13-10. Jacques is picking up the Frisbee as usual. Leo's lined up right here. And you don't even have to watch this point, but it's, it's clear these guys are just getting out of the way. Leo's going to come straight across. Um, his guy's obviously respecting him deep. So you're going to see Leo come straight across the screen. He gets the Frisbee. Jacques is hanging behind. Oh, this is going to be a nice throw. So there's a slight wind, um, but this is just confidence from Leo and just playing, I would say, well beyond his years with just a nice space backhand. And he throws it at shoulder level, which is really nice. It bounces up a little bit, but he knows that Jacques is going to be able to go get it. He immediately is moving. That's the easiest way to create space, immediately get moving. Jacques throws a nice space shot. Again, shoulder level, not too low. You see those turnovers when they're low. I'm just going to rewind both of those there real quick. So you're just going to watch Leo. He doesn't throw this. Some people throw this low. He throws this about waist high. It gets a little higher over the head. That's okay. Same with Jacques. He releases it right around his, his shoulder level. It gets a little higher, but he doesn't put at too much of an angle up. So it'll just float. Um throw uh, float in the wind so Jox is just trying to get it right again they're just playing the two-man game he's just gonna run circles okay i want to rewind that right there because that was a really um 
a good lesson of what to do when somebody throws it. So just watch Sox. Jacques here. Okay, so he jukes. The guy's playing pretty tough defense. By the way, I, in general, the Colorado guys are playing pretty good. It's not like they're just being lazy or whatnot. It's just hard to stop. So you're going to watch Jacques. So Leo's just going to flip it up here, and Jacques is going to come to the Frisbee towards Leo instead of keep the same direction he's going, and that prevents the defender from actually ha being able to make a play on it. So just watch real quick. See, he turns towards at the last second. He was coming this way, and he turned. The guy was making a bid on it. If he didn't, the defender may have been able to get there. So it's a heads-up play, something to incorporate. If a disc is thrown short or tight, you can cut the angle off quickly. So Leo's just going to stand right next to him, gets it off. And so just you're going to watch Leo here. Jacques is going to defer, but just watch. He's literally going to run a circle around him. Clearly, this is a, a weaker thrower, but Leo knows that, and he's just like, I'm going to just run for 10 seconds until I get open. So just watch Leo here. He's playing he's playing tight D, so he's got to juke around a few times. He's just going to run a circle. Nope, not open there. Run it, keep running, keep running. And then he doesn't end up getting it, but it, the mark moves, creates an open space, and he makes a nice lefty backhand, and then right back to Leo. So... That it was just another great point of Leo and Jacques just saying, you can't guard us. All right, so now we're moving to the final just to show you a couple things here uh, against Brown versus Cal Poly. Um, and this is going to be some, again, Jacques and Leo. Uh, this one's more primarily Leo of what you're going to see him do. So Jacques makes a nice upfield cut. Leo's open. Leo's going to throw a nice flick again he throws it a little high but not too angled up to space so it works and just watch leo for the rest of this point he's right here right here in the middle of the screen just watch him he's just going to be relentless and he's just going to keep running so just watch him he's going to do that same little swim move that he did um you're going to notice the defender kind of get there actually and he uses his body to shield him back so just watch tries to swim move the defender's close but that was a nice throw by Jacques. just fit it through the seam and leo he takes what the defender gives him so i'm just going to play that Real quick again, so you can watch. Leo's right here, does that little swim move, but the defender's on top of him, and then Jacques throws a nice little um, uh, IO backhand right through the gap, and then Leo's going to watch him. So he makes a nice cut. Leo, he throws a nice inside of backhand, uses his momentum, and then just starts taking off. Defender's behind him. Just watching the rest of this point. He gets really close. Right there, they got a switch. Now they're kind of trying to keep him to throw into the center, but just he knows he's going to have the open backhand no matter what. They're giving it to him. All right, so we're tank picking it up 9 7. Brown's up near the end zone, and this is where they're so good, and they know we're just going to stay close in a two or three man dominator, and the rest of the guys are going to clear out of the way. You're going to have Leo right here, and Jacques just came up from the backfield, set up, sets up in one. And it's just going to be so easy. The other thing I want to point out is that coach the <clears throat> Browns leadership coaches have done a good job of of teaching all the Brown players to, at least from what I've noticed in the finals, throwing very solid and confident. They're not playing. They're, they know their role. They're not playing out of their role. And that's a huge component of uh, championship teams is everybody knowing their role and playing to it. So you're just going to watch this guy. And he's going to throw a nice space shot backhand, you know. Um, he, and so everybody's doesn't look like, ooh, I, I'm not where I'm supposed to be or I'm throwing something that I'm uncomfortable with. They've clearly practiced this and trained for it. So watch this guy. He's going to throw a nice just space backhand shot. There's nobody on him. Jocks is going to cut across. So just watch. You're going to see this. Okay, so Leo, this is a really good I'm going to play this through, and I'm going to rewind. So Leo comes across. Shocks throws a nice backhand off to a goal. So, But I, this is a really um, important part I'm going to play here. So watch. Leo's going to come here. The guy is with him. He's playing good defense. Again, Cal's playing good defense. It's not poor defense. Leo's going to recognize that and just go to the break side, knowing that Jacques is there, and he's going to find a way to get it to me. So watch. He's going to... And, and the other thing, I want you to watch Jacques. He's going to... The guy's going to be marking pretty good, but Jacques lifts up his arm just a little higher to throw not a low air bounce, but he throws kind of a, you know, he's pivoted out, but you'll see 
He throws a short um, outside in um, just space backhand, and it's beautiful. And it's a thing that I don't see a lot of players do that they could do more. So just watch. Leo's going to he's going to bounce off. And so I'm going to try to pause this right at the right time. Look, see what he does there? He started with his arm lower, but then he th reaches up about shoulder level, maybe a little bit above, a little outside in, because this is where the guy's arm was, to get open uh, a nice space shot. And watch, and Leo's going to be able to run to it nice and safe. Again, he threw it about shoulder level, bounced up a little bit, but he knew his defender wasn't near him. And then for the goal. So I just want to play that one more time. So look where he's starting. The defender's arm is right there. Jacques immediately in quick motions already knows I'm going to be throwing it up and over. A little space. See where he releases it? A little bit higher. Defender can't get there as quickly as the offender. So that's huge. And both Jacques and Leo both do that very well. This is an example of Jacques doing it. And... It's just so hard to guard, especially at the college game. Um, just really um, amazing. And I would say a lot of poise from, from Jacques and Leo to be able to do that at such a high level. Um, this is going to, again, this whole point is going to show clearly what makes Jacques and Leo so good. So you're going to see Jacques here. Leo is going to be the first one to get the disc. We're going to watch Brown move the disc here. But I want you to watch. Just watch Leo. Between Leo and Jacques at this point, it's just awesome to watch. So just so here we go. There's a nice high backhand to space. The defender has no chance. No chance at getting it. He didn't throw it low, angled to try to make it perfect. He let the receiver do the work and come under it. Great decision. Great poise, especially for... Uh, the college level. So Jacques runs under it, plenty of space, nowhere near it. Jacques makes an upfield throw. Leo comes right up. He's going to get get it again. Those guys are just trained to give it right back to him. They know that this is going to help us get it up the field. So watch. This is like, you could just feel the confidence in Jacques and Leo here. Watch Leo, especially. He's just jumping around. I'll just rewind that. So you just watch Leo when he comes up. He's kind of like bouncing. He's bouncing because he knows, one, he's faster than the defender, but he's jumping because he's like, I, I know I can get open, and I got 10 seconds to do it. So just watch. He's going to make the throw. So just watch Leo. He's kind of bouncing. He's like, whoa, what are we going to do? Okay, just bounce back. He's just hopping. And watch when he picks up this frisbee. He catches the frisbee. He's still kind of hopping. Space shot to the backhand. They're going to stay close. Watch Now I want to watch, watch Leo again. He's going to do that little swim move that you see the New York guys do a lot. Um, on the club level, just use a little spin move. They now they're going to turn it here, but just whoop. So Jocks Leo just threw that a little too hard. Jocks, you know, couldn't make that play. But a great example of the confidence that they have. So I'm just going to fast forward this real quick. Um, you're going to see here's Lee. So I'm just going to pause it. Leo's right here. Jocks is right there. Just you're going to watch Leo here. So Leo's right here on the mark. Just watch him. He's going to make a nice play here. Boom, foot block. He's fired up. So, okay, I, I, I'm just continuing to play this point because now Jacques just picked it up. Leo's right here. So they're on the goal line. So most people would try to throw it in really quick, get the score. That's great. But they're patient here. So just watch. They could, but they're like, okay, we'll just take the easy throw. Okay, I'm going to dump it off. All right. I'm just going to stand here. There's Leo gets it again. Not in a rush. Getting their space. Trying to find the open guy. Look at this. This is such a, this is a trust throw knowing that, hey, nobody's going to get around my my uh, partner in crime, uh, Jacques here. Like, he just kind of flips it. The guy's just close. He just knows he's got trust. Leo's just going to hang around, bounce around. And then they're able to get it in. Nice throw by Jacques. Let's just watch that one more time. Just watch Jacques. So he's sitting on the backhand. This guy needs to kind of re... He can see that. He needs to just get a little closer. That's too dangerous. He knows that Jacques can make a throw like this. This guy should probably be a little closer. I know he's trying to, to face guard to see it, but he just leaves too much room. And you're just going to see Jacques just like, okay, just you're going to give me that lane? Just move over. Give me a time. And then he flips it for a nice goal. So... 
uh, honestly, just amazing. Uh, Leo and Jacques put on a show. Um, they're clearly, you know, two of the top players in the college game. Um, here you can see the nice foot block again from Leo. Beautiful. Uh, but they're, they're just great players. Uh, you can see what makes them so good. They're calm under pressure. They know that is their responsibility and their role to touch the disc almost every other time. And if they do, that's going to give them the best chance to win. So if you're a young player, if you're a college player, any type of player looking to get better, they they exhibited some great um, great throws, great decisions, um, and just ways to be able to get open and how to play kind of that two-man game, um, especially at the college level where it's um, easier. The, the club level certainly gets harder, but um, at the college level, it's certainly uh, more doable, especially if you uh, want to help carry your team to more success. So um, go ahead and watch those games. They're available online. Uh, they're a great watch. Congrats to Brown. Uh, for another championship. Congrats to Leo, Jacques, and the whole team. Um, it was fun to watch. And if you got any other ideas or types of videos you want me to make, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Thanks again for watching and God bless.